Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. Good night one, good night all. I hope everybody had an amazing day. Today I want to share a recipe with you guys for stew butterfish and paratha roti or oil roti. So if you guys want to see this recipe, come on down and let's get cooking. So for my stew butterfish today, I'm going to be using the PSI Mid-Atlantic Seafood brand. And this fish comes straight from Guyana. I'm going to show you guys what a delicious looking um, butterfish stew this will make with some oil roti or paratha roti. So guys, when was the last time you had a nice butterfish stew? and roti or rice i just wash them here nicely with some lime and i cut them into pieces so i'm gonna season them now my kids like them when they're in small pieces but i like when mine is in like nice big size i'm going in with my black pepper and then some salt for flavor and then some green seasoning And my green seasoning is contained of uh, fine thyme, broadleaf thyme, garlic, pepper, and green onion. So I'm gonna put a nice two tablespoon of that. I'm gonna mix everything in with my hands. I like to go in with my hands. You can do this with a glove if you like, but um, this is the way I do mine, and I like to get into the inside as well with this um, fish, with the seasoning. And then you wanna make sure that you get it on both sides. So I'll season this up and I'll come back and show you how it looks. So I finished seasoning the fish, and this fish have no smell. Like, you know, sometimes when you buy fish, you get like a rank smell, no smell at all. And the fish is still firm. That's when you know it's not, the fish is not um, like old or sitting there for a long time. This fish is frozen, but it's still yet fresh, if you know what I mean. But so now I'm going to let it marinate for a little. And I'm gonna start kneading the flour to make my paratha or oil roti because I know a lot of my friends like stew fish with uh, roti. So I start making the roti for my stew fish tonight. And now I'm oiling the roti off. So I already roll out one. And the next thing I'm gonna do is put my oil in the roti here. And I do have a full recipe for oil roti or paratha roti. If you would like to see the full version step by step, please check it out on my channel. And what I wanna say to you guys, how many names do you have for this roti? Leave in the comments and let me know how many names you have for this roti. And um, I have about three so far that I can um, share, but I wanna hear your take on it how many names you have for this roti. So I just roll this one off. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on the bottom, just like that. And then I'm gonna leave it in my, ro um, inside this bowl here so it can um, soak. And then I'll continue to do the rest, just like I did those ones. And when you're making this roti, you wanna let it sit for a bit so it can um, get nice and soft and flaky before you start. This process helped the roti to get flaky when we're rolling it off, adding the oil and folding it. The more fold you put on the roti, the more flaky it's gonna be. So here are my roti, nicely done. I'm gonna leave them to sit for a bit and then I'll start cooking them. But um, I like to make roti, believe it or not, the art of making roti is so beautiful. Like whoever thought about this and all the other things that we can do with flour is just a beauty. So guys, remember to leave in a comment and let me know how many names you have for this specific roti. And I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you guys the names that I know of this roti after I get your answers. 
So these are some of the fresh ingredients I'm gonna be using in the stew fish today. I have some green onions. I have, I'm just using two different kinds because I have piece of both, but you can use one um, kind of onion. I am using some fine thyme. This really, really go good in stew. I have two marigori pepper here. I have a carrot. I have some garlic and some cilantro that adds another depth of flavor to stew. And I'm gonna cut all these up and then I'll show you guys how I build the flavor for the uh, butterfish stew. And you know me, I like to sneak in different kind of vegetables in my food. So today, other than my carrot, I'm still thinking which other vegetable to sneak in. So before I finish this stew, there will be another vegetable going into this stew. I have the fish all marinating here and I'm gonna slightly dust them and I have the flour, just a little bit of black pepper and salt and I always like to add a pinch of turmeric to the flour because it adds a very nice color when the fish finish frying. So I'm gonna put, start putting them in. And this is the beautiful butterfish. Let me know when was the last time you had butterfish from Guyana. So I'm gonna keep doing this process and then once I finish, I will show you how beautiful they look when they're done. So I'm gonna flip these over now and let them cook on the other side. And then I will show you guys the next step. So here is that beautiful fried fish that we're gonna make the stew with. And I have the seasoning here that I'm using, everything cut up with my carrot. I'm gonna start adding flavors to the pot and we will get this pot going. So first of all, I have some oil in the pan. I'm gonna add my onions and let me get everything ready. Onions is the first thing I'm adding. And I will add some of the green onions right on uh, the head part of it. And we will cook these for a few minutes. Cook up a little. So our onion and green onion look like it's ready. So the next thing I'm going to add in here is some tomato paste. And because it's a stew, we want to make sure that we put enough. So I'm going in with one, two, three heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. And I will make sure I get everything into the pot here. So we'll give, let me wash my hands. We will give this a quick stir. So we can cook this tomato paste a little. And then I want to go in with my fine thyme because we want all the nice flavor to infuse. So you can pull these off the stem or you can drop them in just like that. So what I usually do, roughly pull them off. And if any stems fall in, that's fine. You can always fish them out later. So again, I'm going to do that and this adds a really, really nice flavor to any stew. So that's in. I'm going to add some sauce here. We're making the sauce, but I want to cook my tomato paste first. So I'm going in with my black pepper. Going in with my salt. And I'm going to add a little bit of water now because I don't like when things start to get really, really um, sticking to the bottom. So I have some warm water on the side. I'm going to add my warm water. We can still add flavor. 
and I'll mix in this goodness. And then I'm gonna add my pepper. And that's the Maruri pepper that I had chopping up in here. And I have my two cloves of garlic that I'm gonna be grating right on top of the stew here, the gravy. So I have my garlic going in. And this is, the color is looking amazing. So let's put the other one. And this don't take long after this stage here. Just the sauce to cook up a little and then we can add the fish into the dish. Add the fish into the dish. I'm rhyming, right Jess? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Jess said, mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix this in and I, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of water because we wanna have some gravy for this here. And then I will add that much of water. I'm gonna add some carrots to thicken up this sauce and to add a vegetable in here. And I'm still debating to add another vegetable. So before the end of it, I might be adding something else. So I'm gonna cover this now and let everything simmer on medium. So all this good seasoning can marry it in. And um, then I'll add the fish. But before I go and cover this up, I'm gonna add some um, sari Chinese spice. And this has some amazing spices, the star anise clove and cinnamon and this is what I got from my friend Lita today and this is the Guyana Sari brand so what I like about it it have um, a seal pack here Jess let's show it what I like about it it have this seal here so when you finish you just close it back like that and you don't have to worry you can put it in a lock container but the other brands that I used before, I used to have to clip them up or band them with um, like a rubber band or something like that. But this have the seal, which I really love about this. So I'm gonna go in with just about a half of teaspoon of five spice powder. And I will cover this up and let it cook for a bit. Okay. So we're going to check on this sauce now for the stew and see how it, oh, it is cooking up nicely. So at this point, I want to taste for flavor and salt. And I'm going to make sure that I have enough. So let me just quickly taste this in my hand like this. We always do back home. Mm -hmm. Amazing, beautiful flavors. So the next thing I'm gonna do here now is add my fish back, the butter fish back to the, to the gravy. And I'm gonna go in and I put my stove on low heat with all the tail first because these are the bigger pieces. And then I wanna put those smaller pieces in here. And I have to make room now. So let me make room here and we're going to add some, I find my next vegetable that I want to add and I did this before with another stew dish. Look at this guys, beautiful stew, butter fish. I don't know when last you had it, but I didn't have it for a very long time. I'm going to add my cilantro, um, sorry, the spinach. I'm going to add some baby spinach to it. And I know some of you might say you never did this before or you wonder how it might taste. But it is very, very delicious, the um, spinach in this dish. It adds another um, level of, it looks good in the eyes, plus it is healthy for you and nutritious. So you can play around a little. Some things you can play around with, some things you can't. And I find with a stew, I can add as much vegetable 
or you can always add as much vegetables or peas if you like and it always turn out good so i'm gonna cover this and let this spinach steam up a little and then i will garnish with the rest of my green onions and the cilantro and it's time for me to start cooking those roti so i'm rolling off the roti now to cook these guys and then i just want to show quickly and then i will be ready to plate up and let you guys know how that shoe tastes so my husband is cooking up these roti and he always does an amazing job so my job is to knead the dough roll them out and my husband always cook them for me so um this is our first one and we still have a few more to go so my stew is finished i just garnish with the rest of green onion and those spinach is steam cooked the perfect way i want it to be i'm gonna um, put all this in a wider dish and then i will garnish it with my cilantro so guys this is a version of the butterfish with rice and look how beautiful that looks you can see some of the carrots the spinach and a garnish with some cilantro oh my god this is mouth watering good stew butterfish with rice version i'm gonna show the roti version soon hope you guys leave in the comment and let me know when was the last time you had butterfish or butterfish stew so here it is my beautiful butterfish stew and all the other um, vegetables inside I have my spinach my carrots they're coming through and I garnish with some cilantro and some green onion it's so so hot right now let me plate up and let you guys know how this tastes but it is looking very yummy so this is my plate of goodness and this is the roti version i have my roti right here and look at this goodness oh my goodness butterfish stew and roti with all the good um works with it before i taste this dish i have a success story to share and this is from my viewer and subscriber krish and Krish mom made, she followed my recipe and she made dal puri and chicken curry. So I'm gonna show you guys right after this, uh, Chris mom's dal puri and chicken curry success story. So time to do the taste test and let me know in the comment like, like I mentioned earlier how many names you have for this roti and I will tell you how many I have so I did everybody favorite roti today to go with my butterfish stew and I would like to shout out before I do this taste test I would like to shout out Alicia Sattar and her husband Imran and her daughter Sohana and her brother Arif. If you guys are watching, I want to say good night to you guys. So I'm going to dip in now for a nice mouthful here. And I don't want to take a big mouthful because I want to talk to. So cheers and this is your mouthful to all you guys. Mmm. I can't even talk. It is so, so delicious. Oh my goodness. I didn't have this for a very long time. And it tastes so nice. I want to show the fish inside. And this is the PSI brand. Look how nice it is. It's steaming hot, the fish. Look how nice it is white inside. And I'm going to take a piece of the fish with some of the gravy. And the second mouthful with the fish goes to you guys as well. And I'm going to taste this fish for you guys. Mm. 
such a fresh taste from that fish. All that flavor come together so nicely. And this dish is such a warm, comforting dish tonight. So I wanna say to you guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please remember to do so. You only have to subscribe to one video. Until then, I wanna say to you, stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.